Well, there's developing news right now. Investigators have just released some new information in the car crash that killed three students from Bucks County, and it is disturbing news. The Council Rock South High School students were in a vehicle that flipped over in Pawpack Township in the Poconos. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Patterson is live at their school now with the new information. Steve. And Chris, that information comes to us late this afternoon. It's from the Wayne County District Attorney who says that the driver of that vehicle, a 15 year old girl, there is no doubt that this is a tragedy and that's what students are focused on today. But as we're learning, it is also an investigation and one now with criminal implications. The crash that claimed the lives of three 15 year old Bucks County teenagers has taken a heartbreaking new twist. Tuesday, Wayne County District Attorney Janine Edwards with a bombshell. The driver of the SUV that flipped multiple times, a 15 year old girl from New York. The statement released this afternoon says the 2001 Suburban was owned by the girl's father, who also owned a home at a development near Pawpack Township. Early Saturday morning, that driver and her 16 year old friend, also a female from near Westchester, New York, picked up the four Council Rock South teens near her father's home and drove to eat breakfast. On the way back around 1130, the SUV flips multiple times after a witness says it took a curve too fast. Three of the four boys, 15 year olds Ryan Lesher, Seamus Digney and Cullen Keffer were killed. A fourth passenger, also from Council Rock South, was injured. Uh, I was very upset when it happened. I was shocked, like everyone else. Tuesday, students continue to react on the first day of school for Council Rock South freshmen and the last day before summer break officially ends. The teachers, they were, you could tell like it was on their minds, but they were holding it together uh, for the freshmen. All at once now, a community mourns. Teenagers return to school with a dark cloud and criminal charges may change the lives of yet another family. Of course, that investigation far from over and based on findings from state police, there again may be some criminal charges in this case. In the meantime, every remaining day this week, there is either a funeral or a visitation for those three teenagers who were killed as school starts. And of course, it all kicks off with a candlelight vigil scheduled for tonight at the school. We'll of course be there to cover that as well. Reporting live from Holland, Bucks County, I'm Steve Patterson, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Steve, thank you.